God, I, I just watched The Martian and so great. I, I want to become an astronaut and go to Mars. Uh, how can I travel to Mars? Traveling to Mars is a very difficult task. Let me tell you more. We can travel to Mars with rockets. It's the only thing fast enough we have now to get us away from Earth. It's quite similar to getting to the moon, so just think of it as an extra long trip to the moon. But we don't just fly straight to Mars, it takes a lot of energy. So we use special paths called human transfer orbit that are more energy efficient. However, the timing of launch is also important, so to save energy and time. The distance of path needs to be the shortest, and this only happens about every once two years due to the orbit of Earth and Mars. To do this, we must aim at the position Mars will be by the time we arrive. And that's how you get to Mars. Oh, I see. But if it's possible to travel to Mars, right? Uh, why hasn't anybody done it before? Oh wait, I got to go. My friend Aloysius will tell you more. Hi. Actually, people face a lot of challenges when going to Mars. Challenges? Yeah. Well, let me tell you more about them. Well, Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, with a distance of about 75 million kilometers away from us at closest, and 401 million kilometers at the furthest, averaging about 225 million kilometers. In comparison, it is almost 600 times as far as travelling to the Moon on average. Travelling to Mars takes about 8 months, which is equivalent to watching this video many, 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 well, about 70,000 times. A very long time indeed. Humans need air, food, and water to survive. And so to travel for such a long time, we will need to carry a lot of air, food, and water. And that makes the rocket very heavy, making it hard to take off. In space, there are also deadly rays and particles that can pierce through the body and cause diseases like cancer. Have you seen astronauts in cartoons floating about in space? That's because of a low gravity environment, so your body will not be pulled down to the ground. This is a big problem! Your body is designed to function with gravity, so if you were in space for a long time, you will face serious problems such as a weakened heart and higher risk of bone fracture as your bones and muscles weaken since they don't need to overcome gravity. So, so traveling to Mars is so hard and full of challenges. Does it mean that I, I will never make it to Mars? No, that is too pessimistic. Currently, there are technologies such as shielded rockets that can get us to Mars faster. Oh, so it means that I can get to Mars safely, right? Unfortunately, Mars is far from a safe heaven. Suppose 8 months have passed, and the astronaut is still alive in his rocket. The ground on Mars is rough, so the rocket can topple and explode if it lands at the wrong place and speed. And you thought launching rockets on Earth was hard. What's more, having travelled through the harsh conditions of space for such a long time, the machines in the rocket may have been worn out and could malfunction. Finally, the astronaut, a very big astronaut, lands on Mars. But wait, there is no breathable air, no drinkable water, or even any food on the red desert. And yes, sandstorms are also very strong and can cause real damage to his suit. Also, the waves of deadly rays continue rushing through his body. A very harsh world for a human to be in there. Oh, so Mars seems to be a very dangerous place indeed. But I'm not afraid of the challenges because I still want to go to Mars. Getting, Getting to, to Mars, Mars is still a dream. dream. But maybe, but maybe you, you can, can be the, the first astronaut, astronaut to get, get to Mars. Mars.